Hi, this is Bob Kay from the AMD World Championship of Custom Bike Building in Sturgis, South Dakota. Uh, we have a pretty interesting bike here today uh, that John's created. Yeah, first look, obviously there's a bobber chopper influence and you kind of look at the SNS air cleaner and uh, you think it's uh, a typical uh, Harley Davidson Indian Larry inspired bike. But when you look much closer, you'll find out that that SNS air cleaner on the outside is uh, kind of deceiving because we really have a 1600 Yamaha power plant. So tell me, John, your inspiration is pretty obvious. Indian Larry, he was a hero to many of us. But what made you kind of veer off and go with the Yamaha power plant? It was a power plant that we had in, uh, in the shop. Uh, it was an uh, accidented bike that we used the power plant from. Uh, we originally wanted to do um, a pro street style bike. And then when Indian Larry passed away, um, we uh, quickly changed our mind and uh, decided to do an Indian Larry tribute bike. Well, you know, it's uh, kind of always nice to use something that you have hanging around, but you, I don't think that you necessarily pick the easiest way at this because I don't know of many uh, aftermarket rigid frames available for a Yamaha 1600. So I, I would say uh, not only did you have to go and kind of uh, replicate the Indian Larry down to, but you had to really fabricate this whole frame from scratch. Yeah, it was a one-off uh, frame. Uh, it was, uh, we made a jig for uh, the uh, uh, motor mounts and made everything fit, centered, and um, basically we ended up with what you see, what you see here. Well, you know, Indian Larry really led the way with the chain link components and the twisted steel down tubes and everything. You seem to have carried that forward. Um, what, what was involved in actually making the chain link leg up in the front end there so you had the stability and maintain the accurate geometry of that frame, uh, front end? For the front end, for the front end we took some uh, good strength, uh, high tensile strength uh, chain, uh, which was TIG welded by um, a friend of mine who's uh, excellent welder. Uh, we held the chain taut up in a jig, uh, tightened it up a screw, and then TIG welded each weld, uh, each link together so that uh, we can have the um, integrity of the strength of the chain because a chain's strength is on its pull, but in this case it's pushing together. So we, uh, we have to rely a lot on the, on the weld. And uh, then we cut the whole length in half and we used one half for each leg. And, um, and it's never failed us. No, it's quite a job. It really looks excellent. When you get up close, you can see how really perfect and aligned it is. So let's talk a little bit about that frame. Um, obviously, from that point, you had your front end, your basic configuration, and figured that out. Um, how did you determine the geometry? Uh, do you have a jig, or did you do some CAD design? Was it a one-off design? Tell us a little bit about that frame construction. Well, we had uh, help from uh, a company who manufactures frames, so we basically um, uh, mimicked one of the Indian Larry frames because we wanted that style of rigid with the point at the back and uh, the rake and uh, the stretch that we wanted. And we basically de designed the frame, had it fabricated for us too, and then um, made sure the motor fit into it. Well, that 1600 Yamaha uh, Roadster motor is a pretty powerful engine in itself. Did you have to make any modifications to that for increased horsepower? Uh, all we did was uh, port and polish the uh, heads. Uh, we have a, an aluminum intake manifold and a PSI uh, carburetor, and uh, the rest of it is rock solid already. So it develops a lot of uh, torque and horsepower. I know when you're tuning some of these metric engines, it's a little more finicky. Um, what did you have to use? I know you got an SNS air cleaner on there, but uh, in terms of the element and filters, uh, what did you do there to kind of help that breathing? Uh, we used a K&N air filter. Uh, we also have a K&N uh, oil filter. And we rerouted the oil lines so that we can get the oil filter on the side, uh, a la Indian Larry style. And uh, we make, mimic this work as best we can, obviously. So I would assume that that exhaust is one off too, and then... Uh, it originally started off with uh, a bub uh, exhaust, a bub stubbies, which we wrapped in uh, pipe wrap and uh, kept the, uh, the tips, the chrome tips, and it uh, flowed nice with the, um, the style of bike that we created. 
Well, I think Indian Larry would be pretty proud. I mean, it certainly represents his style from the dish tanks and the rigid frame, twisted steel right on down. Um, you're running a jockey shift, all the things that Indian was really known for. Um, do you make parts available for anybody else? Uh, we do fabricate some parts uh, and we sell them worldwide, actually. It's uh, quite interesting that a small business could uh, become an international company, uh, not overnight, but with time. Well, it is the age of the internet. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, do you have a website address? Yes, it would be uh, www.motorcycleenhancements.com. Again, one of the real values of the AMD World Championship is our diversity, and uh, John has come up with a really clever way to honor one of our legendary builders. We really appreciate the effort you made, and um, thank you for being part of the AMD World Championship.